don't, don't, don't. I say what I want to say, do what I want to do. Let's go and get into it. Empire Season 2, Episode 1 for the turn up. Yes, come on, Black Lives Matter. Come on, lesbian fancy years and all that type of stuff. Let's go and get into it. This episode, the premiere episode, uh, well, not the premiere, the whatever you want to call it, for Season 2 of Empire was everything I needed. Lee Daniels, you did it. I was very, 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 very impressed, and I liked it, honey. It was so much. Twitter was popping. Everybody was just happy, so let's go and get into it, honey. How how much longer, child Miss Cooker? They all, they throwing a free Lucius party, and they got I don't know some light skinned dude, the hip hip hop rapping. We got uh, Cooker coming down at like a gorilla, like Kong, King Kong in the trunk, honey. She about to throw barrels and she Donkey Kong tees, and it was kind of the they're thinking that you know she was talking about she was giving a speech to me. They thinking that we're animals and we're not animals. We we built this country and all this type of stuff. Da da da. I loved it. She said, our brothers, our, everything built this country from our, our backs, and it was everything. Um, Taraji, um, whatever her name is this week, said that Lee Daniels gave her that speech like a, a couple of minutes before. And you, Taraji, you just did it. You just, you you did it. Phenomenal. I, I, I was very, very impressed. I loved it. We got plenty of guest appearances in this um and this season of Empire. And I, it's got me a little scared. But seeing how stuff has ran. It's pretty good so far. It's pretty, pretty good. I'm, uh, You know, they're doing it. Not to, like, to the point like it's making me feel uncomfortable. But this is only the first episode. So we got Don Lemon, honey. Don Lemon want to talk to Cookie. And Cookie said, you know, I talk, I got you, Don. But what you did with the N-word and stuff was funny. Playing on the fact, you know, Don Lemon, what he's done. You know, was saying N-word on TV and all that type of stuff. I, I, I just loved how they just introduced stuff that we, you know, we seen. And we talked about this year in the storyline. I love that. I love that. Baby Al Sharpton started talking. He was talking that nonsense and Cookie walked off just like need to because Al Sharpton be talking off while he's sitting here looking like a sick ass barber doll. Okay, like a tired ass damn gemonic, um, GMO ass chicken wing. Um, what else is going on? He was like a McDonald's chick chicken nugget because he ain't look like no real chicken nugget from Chick fil A. Um, child, we got Chris Rock pooching his crackhead ass on down the. Buzz and I'm like, what? So Chris Rock is playing Frank, the guy who, um, what's the name? She used to work for. She used to sell dope for what uh, Lucius and Cook used to sell dope for, whatever. Um, Jamal ends up meeting with Lucius. Well, Jamal ends, you know, Jamal. I think he he ends up meeting with. Uh, he met with um, Frank, and he was just like, you know, what's up? And I thought they was about to have the thing, but he was like, you know, we good, we cool, we whatever, we whatever. So Jamal ends up meeting up with Lucius. They have a little thing, and he's just telling him, you run run a company and all that type of stuff and doing what he's supposed to do. And Jamal can't really be Lucius. He's trying his best to. I feel like Jamal is like a slick super saiyan or some shit. He just, Jamal is just turned up, and it's slick, scary. It's attractive at the same time, but it's scary almost. Um, Andre can't get no damn sleep because them black demons are riding the hell out of his back from fucking that blue-eyed devil. Okay, I can't even remember her damn name. But um, Andre is ha having bad dreams and nightmares because he knows he took up for his father with the um, he tried to cover up for his father killing um, Blanky and it's kind of killing him and them demons are mad at him for fucking the blue eyed devil. So girl, you know it is what it is. Andre, I don't know what to tell you. You need to take your present lamb or something or something, girl. It's just something to help you out, honey. Um, something. So Cookie ends up throwing a sex party. For Mimi, Mimi is one of the people who is going to be investing money into um, Lucia's, well, into Cookie's part of, you know, helping her be able to purchase the Empire and have it or have more stock or shares or whatever you have. And Mimi just, you know, she tuss, she just tussy popping, tussy popping, pussy popping on a handstand. And she liking, she's saying, she's seeing all the coochies and stuff. And, you know, she's supposed to be the lesbian or whatever. And, um, <laughs> and Hakeem is throwing this party. And Miss Boo Boo Kitty is there. Miss Boo Boo Kitty is there. And it seems like Mimi got a little eye for Miss Boo Boo Kitty. And, um, Boo Boo Kitty just like, okay, I ain't into this type of shit. Boo Boo Kitty, her is, I don't know if that's a wig or if that's her hair, but whoever is doing 
the the hair for Boo Boo Kitty deserve and makeup deserves an award because that her face is not beat. Her face is sculpted. Do you hear me? Sculpted for the gods. Her face looks really, really good. Her, I mean, it's not too much. I think that's what some of you know darker women try to do. And I and I get turned off by it is when they try to beat their when like they wear so much makeup that they're light skin and it looks terrible because your neck will be lighter than your um then, then your face will be lighter than your neck so you know she I guess it's easier for her to find a, a um, makeup or I don't know I don't know anything about makeup but I be wanting you know darker women to find more skin I be wanting us to be comfortable with, not saying all of us but wearing makeup that blends naturally with our skin and stop beating up to the point that it's look it's looking like. You know, peanut butter or something. It, it, well, I like the peanut butter. Like, I, I don't know what to say about it. I want some peanut butter now. Um, Child Dora the Explorer is back. I guess she went swiping a swiper and then finally gave her ass back. And I wish she would have kept her and threw her ass in a ditch some damn where baby Miss Dora coming and Jamal and turned to a power top, honey. He, he kissing all on him and, you know, telling him, come here, get that, get that fool out here. I'm finna fuck you wrong. No, baby, just got you eating some sushi. I can't do all that. Babe, Miss Dora, I got everything I wanted out of this season premiere of what well, a season whatever of um of of Empire, but except uh, um a black I want a black I want a black man to be with Jamal. That's what I want. I'm sorry. I want to see black gay love on TV. I want to see it on TV, cable TV. I want to see it on Fox. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see Dora. And that's no disrespect because he is cute as hell. But I want to see Black Love so I can feel like I can get me a man. I want to. So, um, what else is going on? So, <sighs> baby, Miss Boo Boo Kitty starts twerking. Uh, Cookie said, uh, you go twerk for the white bitch. You go twerk for her because she got the coins and she going to take care of So, Boo Boo Kitty took off her shirt and baby, she just said, hey, clap, clap, clapping, 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 my booty up, my booty up, watch it, watch my booty up, and Mimi just like, hey, hey, and she trying to move in her shoulder, barely move Mimi, you played the hell out this lesbian um, financier, but baby, you can't move, baby, you move like a, you move like an old school ass camera, uh, like an old school ass something, girl, you just slow as hell. You move like an old ass digital clock in a 1995 um uh, trailblazer. It's still in green, girl. You move like an old ass cable box, girl. You just just sharp as hell, girl. Smooth that shit out. Get into the X1 by Xfinity. Yes, Xfinity gonna give me a hundred dollars off my bid because that bitch is high. What else is going on? Um, poor. <laughs> Poor, all them asses, all their ass sitting around, um, uh, Cookie's sitting around with, um, uh, what was his name, Hakeem, uh, and, uh, what's the, what's the girl, and Portia, and they sit down, they talking, and, um, uh, Carol, Carol, she didn't got off work, she bet she trying to get off work, she got her CNA, um, nurse uniform on, she got her CNA scrubs on, and she, she FaceTiming, uh, Portia's like, Portia, you, don't take them flowers, don't take them flowers, and child Portia said, uh-uh, boo, I got a boo-boo, bitch. If I didn't holler and scream so damn loud, I got a boo-boo, bitch. That shit was so damn funny. I, and Portia, the way you said that, bitch, you like you had the boo-boo for real. That shit was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> she, she said, uh-uh, I got a, I got a boo-boo. I got a boo-boo. She, she said that shit on TV, and I got all my life. The prosecutor ends up meeting up with uh, Lucius, um, and, and she came in. She had titty. One titty looked bigger than the other. She was giving us collar red tees with that. But she was a cute ass. She was cute as hell. She was cute as hell. But Lucius line what we were here for. He said, "You showing up in the black bitch and black and cheap ass shoes, hoe. You think you a um, Republican? You think you don't get a, a um a vote, bitch? You like the the female version of um Dr. Cost? Let me tell you something, Dr. Cost. Let me read your old coon ass right now. Since I'm talking about Black Lives Matter and all this good shit on, I'm so sick of your dumb coon ass all on TV saying this dumb ass shit for these damn." Fucking Nick picking ass white folks and his trailer trash ass white folks sitting around and they damn and fucking their own sisters and brothers and you sit up here just that's the only base you got. And Dr. Carson, you sit up here talking all this shit like they like they really give a fuck about the, they don't give a fuck about giving some money to a goddamn coon. They uh, white folks had fucking slaves in the damn house. They thought they were they, they thought they was some kin to a or the black folks thought they um they they was Mouse's friend or some shit. 
Okay? Your Uncle Carson. I'm going to have to take your damn doctorate from your stupid ass. Because you sound stupid as fuck. Every time I hear your stupid ass, you and your damn fucking damn nut butter eating ass wife. Oh, I can't stand that fucking box of cornbread built ass woman. Honey, let me go and get into my review, honey. Uh, so the prosecutor showed up in them cheap ass shoes. Lucia Lyon wasn't here for it. And she talking, she said, no, you, these, these shoes ain't cheap, and you're going to do what the fuck I want you to do, da da da, da. And she talking, honey, and them titties must not be been bouncing, because that's the only thing Lucia Lyon can do anyway. Because uh, his dick ain't that big, so he just got a titty fuck, titty fuck, titty fuck. <laughs> Let me stop being stupid. Um, So I don't know who that was, DJ Loaf. DJ Loaf, DJ Loaf of Bread ends up meeting up with Freddie. I guess that's, her, you know, that's Freddie, um, not Freddie, Frank's daughter. And it was just so pretty to see his daughter, like... Chris Rock, you really did. You, I feel like you really did embody uh, Frank. You, you really did, and I loved it. It was everything for me. You, I felt like I wasn't watching Chris Rock. I was watching somebody else because I did have some moment when I thought you was that crackhead off that old movie. I, I, I can't remember because y'all know my friend on clown because you said I don't watch black movies, and I can't remember the name of that movie. I can't. Um, child, we get to my favorite part. My favorite part of the show. Seeing Miss Lawrence looking like a cheap version of Fantasia, laying on that damn piano, sing by the river, river. See what happens. See what what's good. See what happens when you're good, child. Miss Lawrence and left um, Kenya Moore's dermatologist, and look at God. Won't he do it, baby? Miss Lawrence, your skin look HD, honey. I was so tired of your skin looking like SD. Okay, standard definition, standard foolishness. Oh, um, bravo and stuff, girl. I'm so glad you are more than just a hairdresser and a bitch carrying around a purse for another, um, uh, uh queen. I'm just glad you're doing something, Miss Lawrence. This is really, really cute from you, honey. And I'm glad you have kicked, uh, Kenya Moore's dermatologist to the side, cause, baby, I thought your ass gonna turn to a, all uh, them damn volcanoes in your, I thought, bitch, you had global warming written all over your face. Uh, what else was going on? Miss Lawrence, that was cute for you, though. So, Miss Lawrence is meeting up with, um, with Jamal, you know, about giving him a GLAD award and all this type of stuff. I'm glad Lee Daniels, you know, put this in and all this type of stuff. Let me tell you something. The people who are uncomfortable from seeing gays on TV and all that type of stuff, you might as well suck it up and get used to it. Y'all sound like the white folks who weren't here for black folk getting all these awards and stuff this past weekend at the Emmys. You might as well get ready for it because it's going to come harder and harder. We are not going nowhere. And we're going to see more and more minorities and people that make y'all feel uncomfortable all on TV. This is only the beginning. So you have to get with the program, and you just have to realize that everybody is not going to follow what you believe in. Everybody, that's America. We're all supposed to be different. We're not supposed to be following just for your your stuff and your religion and your whatever you do. We're not. We're all different. We're all different. So all, all, all everybody, you know, you can't, you, you just have to just grow up and, and let that shit go. Let go, honey. You, I mean, you ain't got no heaven or hell to put nobody. You ain't got a deed to neither one of them, as T.S. Madison would say. So, girl, y'all might as well. And the people who don't, you know, you ain't got to tell nobody that you don't accept it. Or you don't. Nobody is. Some of you motherfuckers that keep saying, I don't, I don't, um, I'm not accept. I don't, um, appreciate your lifestyle or some shit. Bitch, I done asked you for approval. I, I don't approve your life. I, bitch, I. I don't, you can barely get approved for a fucking Facebook fucking stand. I don't need your approval for shit. Okay, some woman in, in, send me a message on Facebook, update some, I don't approve your lifestyle and, and try to give me some what's I appreciate it, but at the same time, you don't give me no half ass compliment. Justin J ain't here for that half ass shit. Just say you appreciate what I do. So, uh, Frank's daughter, hip hop rapping, rapping and, and all that type of shit, and Lucia see that, and he, you know, he doing what he got doing that shit or whatever. So, um, Baby, when they said something about Donnie McClurkin going to be at the Glad Awards, ho, I holler. Donnie McClurkin, they're going to be looking at you all type of sideways this Sunday at church with your gay ass, son. You damn silent sister of the pew, your front row church mother ass. You need to sit your ass. You remind me of another church queen, but we ain't going to say no names. <laughs> Bitch, you better get up. Um... They end up having to meet and Hakeem zoom, 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 boom, and this goddamn hover around or hover, whatever. And baby, Miss Mimi said, I done boo boo kitty and I done bump kitty cats with her. And y'all still ain't getting shit. Lucius on the FaceTime and he telling y'all ass, look, I ain't on FaceTime. I'm on, I'm on a real uh, FaceTime, not that Android bullshit. And I'm coming live in color and telling y'all ass ain't getting shit, honey. Curl, Aunt Curl showing up in her CNA outfit. And what's the name her dude? Head in the box. She don't know what the fuck to do. What's the name telling her get her shit together? Baby, this is what episode of everything, honey. Jamal singing in the damn 
in the damn studios. Sound like a power bottom that knows his damn body. That bitch, I can eat some chili cheese dog and still get it in later on. I know my body. Child. But Lucius running every damn thing, baby. Lucius, Lucius is running everything. Can't nobody tell him shit. That's all I got. Follow me on Twitter, JustJ1232. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Bye.